input. So this is the federated learning. It's a decentralized learning, not centralized one. So we can use multiple workers who, to get a good new global model. So for example, if you can see it here, thank you for the feedback. So feedback, the, this feedback has to be predicted. So it is predicted by the new global model. So, uh, the, uh, so the, this federated learning is learning better than the conventional learning because here we will be using the multiple workers or multiple devices for training the data. So we will be getting the different, different, better, better weights. So once we average all the weights, we will be getting a good model. So but here the data privacy is one, one more concern. So but what's the problem is not uh, that problem is not here. Why? Because we are not sharing the data. We are just sharing the weights to the server and the server also downloading the weights to the particular local device or local device. So the data privacy is not a concern for here. So it's a better learning compared to the normal uh, traditional learning methods. So now I will show you how to do that in the Google Colab for a, uh, by a just simple example. So this is the imported library. So I took the minister data from 1 to 0 to 9. So these are the numbers data. So then I unzip it. Then once we unzip, we, we need to load the path. We are defining the defining the path for loading the data. So here image labels, image as well as reading the labels. Now we are loading the path. Image, we are providing the image path. We are listing it out. So when you use this load function, here we will get that image list as well as the label list. So then we are splitting the data into training and a testing set. So training data, training labels, testing data, and the testing labels. Then we have to create the client. As we, uh, as I said to you earlier, we have number of clients or number of workers. So each worker is doing the training and sharing those training weights to the main server. So we have to create the client. So client name we are providing. Then randomly splitting the data into ten, uh, uh, ten parts. So each part is provided shared to the particular work. So for example, if you have 100 means, we are providing the 10 uh, data for first worker, next 10 data for second worker. So we are, we are di totally dividing the data into 10 because we used 10 clients. So if you have, if you, if you used the 10, 5 workers means, we have to divide the total data and divide by 5. So then we are sharing those data to the particular each and each and every clients, 5 clients. So this is the client, client name share ID. Then the, the, here only we just created the clients. With the help of that uh, X train and uh, Y train number of clients. So after that we have to uh, we need to provide the patch data for each client because we uh, we have to train the system with the patch with patch only right. That is why for here we patch data data shared patch size is thirty. Then here only we will be getting the client patch values so patch data here here client name and data we are uh, we'll be getting the patch data for each clients here then test patched so this is the patch for the test set then we'll be generating one simple model for mlp by feeding some Activations and the input data for dense layer and for feature extraction. Return the model. Here we are providing the training options, number of rounds. Then the once we get the weights from the all the local or the workers, the weight has scale has to be done. The scale model weights, everything has to be defined. Some scale weights. Then we are uh, generating the data, defining the data for test model. Now. Here is the important part for training. So if you see that how many how many communication rounds has to be done. We have just mentioned here. Then global weights initializing. After that, here only training is happening for client in client name. So each client we are uh, it is training by one by one.
so here we just uh, a model is here then then we are compiling the model we are set the weights then here we are training that load model that fit here you can see patch clients patched of clients so clients is first client second clients likewise it's iterating in the for loop so already client patch means the data in the form of patches already we did over there so number of epoch then we are assigning the scaling factor scaling weight to local weight list finally we will be getting the average weights by summing all the weights we will be getting the average so with the help of this average weights we will be getting the average global model so this is the global model so this model only we are going to uh, ch uh, check with the test data then we are using the for loop for the test data we we are using that global model and the x test and the y test so communication round is we have given is 100 so that much of time is i trade uh, communicating the finally it's providing the result as a global accuracy is 96.429 percentage so which is little higher than the conventional learning system because here multiple workers the trained weights are combined so we will be getting the good result instead of using a single work so also it is a decentralized so each workers can work with the different different data so when we add those when we uh, taking the average of all the weights there is a possibility of getting a better new model so it's uh, anyway it's comparatively better than the old traditional learning system so that's why it's a uh, uh, very good for the classification problem so it's uh, used for minister data set uh, instead of that one we can use our custom data just to generate one folder and keep all those folder inside it's automatically taking the images from the folder and splitting those images based upon the number of workers then assigning the data for the workers so once the workers are training all those data all the training weights are combined then it's produce a new global model then then we are checking the new global model with our new test data for predicting the new outcome so this is all what about the federated learning for the classification so you can use your own or own custom model also here also you can generate a new custom model for training the data for uh, uh, for training the federated learning data so i think you understood everything if you have any doubt means you can call me or you can whatsapp me otherwise you can mail me thank you thanks for watching